All right, so in this video, we are going to find the coordinates of a point after rotating it about an angle from the origin. In this first case, we have a rotation of 30 degrees from the point 40. So I'm going to draw that on my axis. So 40 is somewhere over here. And I'm rotating this about the origin. So it's going to rotate like this. And the point is going to end up over here. I'm going to draw this out over there as well. So I know that this point is 40, which means that the bottom here is going to be 4. Now, anytime you rotate something, the other side is also going to be the radius, which means this side here is also 4. Now, what I'm going to do from this is I also know that this is 30 degrees. I'm going to draw a straight li line down to make this a right angle. Okay, I'm going to expand this triangle out so that you can see it a bit more clear down here. So I have 30 degrees over here. The bottom side is not 4. That's the whole side with the extra there. So the bottom side is not 4, but I know that the hypotenuse is 4. And now I need to find the coordinates of this new point. If I need to find the coordinates of this new point, I need to find this side here and this side over here. I'm going to call this X and I'm going to call this Y. And now I'm going to use Sokotoa to find this. Okay, so cos 30 equals x over 4, 4 cos 30 equals to x. And if I put that in my calculator, I get 3.5 equals x. So the same for y. If I'm solving for y, I need to use sin. So 4, well, I'll do all the steps. So sin 30 equals to y over 4, so 4 sin 30 equals to y. And if I put that in my calculator, I get y equals 2. So I know that the x value of this coordinate is 3.5 and the y value is 2. Let's take another look at a problem that's going to be in a different quadrant now. So this one is a rotation of 140 degrees from the point 5, 0. So again, let me draw it out on my axis first. 5, 0 is approximately over here. Now if I do this rotation, oops, that's a really bad circle, but you get the idea. So this is 90. And somewhere over here is 140. By the time you reach this line, it's 180. So 140 is approximately over here. Now I know this distance is 5. This is the radius of the circle, which means this distance also has to be 5. Then I need to find the coordinates of that point right over there. I know that this whole angle is 140 degrees. So same idea, I'm going to make a right triangle over here and solve for that right triangle. Now I'll draw it a bit bigger over here as well. So I know that the hypotenuse is 5. Now I need to find this tiny angle here. In order to find this tiny angle, I can do 180 minus 140, which is 40 degrees. Now again, I need to find my x and my y coordinate in the exact same way. So cos 40 equals to x over 5. 5 cos 40 equals to x. I'll put that in my calculator. Get 3.8 equals x. Let's do the same for the y. So sin 40 equals y over 5, 5 sin 40. I'm cross multiplying it on the top. I'll put this in my calculator. I'll get 3.2 equals to y. So now I have my x and my y coordinate. But when you notice it over here, the x coordinate is in the negative side. 
So my x is not going to be 3.8, it's going to be negative 3.8. My y is still in the positive side, so it's just going to be positive 3.2. If you were in this coordinate down here, both would be negative, your x and your y. And you are in this quadrant over here, your x would be positive and your y would be negative.